This is Tank's vlog, May 15th, 2018, and my mouth is burning, I tell you. I just tried these fastballs from Cheese Doodles. Uh, I figured with the uh, Mets logo on there, they'd probably be disappointing, but wow, they're hot. Hotter than friggin' hot fries. Whoo! My mouth's still burning. I, 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 I just drank a friggin' whole cup of water and a can of cherry Pepsi and I can't get it to cool down. Anyway, in the NBA, it was the Golden State Warriors getting off to a hot start. Beating the uh, Houston Rockets 119-106. The uh, Rockets got a nice game from James Harden, but it wasn't enough. Durant and Klay Thompson led Golden State. Game was tied at the half, but Golden State took over. Scoring 63 points in the second half. I tell you right now, the Warriors... Yeah, looks like it's going to be another championship for Golden State. Uh, NBA. We're the same every year. Once he leaves, that's not the same every year is the NHL. Three out of four conference finalists have never won a cup. The only team that has won a cup is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Whoever wins in the West will be in the Stanley Cup Final for the first time. Got the expansion Golden Knights today. Bounced back nicely after losing the opener in Winnipeg. 3-1 winner. They got two goals from Jonathan Marchessault, including a huge one in the third period. After Kyle Connor. Cut the lead to 2-1. to one. Marshall Scholl scored less than two minutes later. And basically deflated that crowd in Winnipeg. The Winnipeg Jets have not really played well at home. They've lost three to the last four at home. And they've been great on the road. So it's going to be interesting to see what goes on as this series now shifts to Vegas with the series even at a game apiece. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury had a nice game today. He stopped... All but one shot, 31, 30 saves overall, uh, so it's back to uh, Vegas, and Vegas has played well at home, Vegas has only lost one home playoff game this year, uh, the Jets have only lost a couple of games on the road in the playoffs, so this is where it's going to get really interesting, uh, you just gotta love it, you gotta love it, and uh, Vegas came through tonight to even the series, and uh, we're going to see what the Washington could do with a 2-0 lead going home against Tampa Tremont. We could have a, a Stanley Cup final if the Capitals win of two teams that have never won the Cup before. When's the last time something like that's happened in the NBA? Now we go to baseball. Mets are off. Yankees are off. Uh, both of them play short two-game series. The Yankees will be in Washington playing the Nationals. They could help the Mets. And the Mets are playing the Blue Jays where they can't help themselves. Uh, Red Sox. They were beaten today by the uh, Oakland A's 6-5. to five. Rick Porcello suffered his first loss of the year. It was the Tigers' 6-3 winners over the Indians. The Rays bounced back off a humiliating loss Sunday to beat the Royals 2-1. The Braves continue to play great baseball. One in today in Wrigley Field, 6-5. It was the Giants' 10-7 winners over the Reds. The Rockies beat the Padres 6-4. The Brewers beat the suddenly slumping Diamondbacks 7-2, while the Mariners won a pitch 1-0 over the Minnesota Twins. And it was the Angels beating the Astros 2-1. Today's three stars are Jonathan Marshall of the Golden Knights with his two big goals, Kevin Durant for scoring 37 points, and James Harden in a losing effort for the Rockets with 41 points. Today's birthday shout-out goes to 
one of the great baseball players of all time, won a hitting title in three different decades, 1976, 1980, and 1990. And I'm talking about George Brett. George Brett turned 65. And uh, on the same day that George Brett was born, there was a rematch in boxing for the heavyweight championship with Rocky Marciano going against Jersey Joe Walcott in their first meeting in September of 1952. Uh, Marciano was down. He was on the way to losing his first fight. Uh, it was for the heavyweight champion that Jersey Joe held. And in the 13th round, Rocky Marciano got the knockout. This time, it only took him 2 minutes and 25 seconds in the first round to get the knockout in what would actually be Jersey Joe Walcott's final fight. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.